Hello, I'm Dr. John Osafka, and together with Dr. Vincent Lusco, we would like to welcome you to our Lap Band Surgical Weight Loss Seminar. Together, we developed the bariatric program at Marion Elizabeth over two decades ago. In conjunction with Lap Band of Louisville, we have successfully helped transform the lives of thousands of patients. Together, we have engaged both nationally and internationally as experts in the field of lap band surgery. Our program proudly holds multiple distinctions for quality and safety. With this seminar, it is our goal to educate you in all aspects of lap band surgery and our focused aftercare program. Hi, I'm Dr. Vincent Lusco, and I will be presenting information about obesity, the lap band procedure, our program's philosophy, and aftercare program. In my early surgery training, I assisted on the first lap band placement in Kentucky in May of 2001. At that moment, I realized there was a much simpler and safer alternative to the extreme stomach stapling procedures being done at that time. We started our program in 2003 at Mary Elizabeth Hospital, and since that time, we've performed over 4,500 lap band procedures. We've been recognized as a center of excellence and also have received numerous distinctions, including top docs as voted by our peers in Louisville Magazine. More importantly, though, we've helped transform the lives of thousands of patients in helping them lose weight and become healthier. So why choose surgery? Well, diets work, but often with short-term results. The reality is that only 3 to 5% of those who attempt weight loss on their own are successful. The National Institute of Health states that surgery is the most effective and the only method which results in significant long-term weight loss. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I've lost over 90 pounds in nine months with the help of a lap band. My son, he's like, you need to throw that belt away. I said, I cannot throw this belt away because I'm never going back to that. Recently, the American Diabetes Association has stated bariatric surgery should be considered in patients with new onset type 2 diabetes. We feel that the lap band is the safest surgical procedure available to reach long-term results. My name is Mary Vaught. I used to weigh 325 pounds before the lap band. I have lost 155 pounds and kept it off for seven years and still going. That's me. Oh yeah, that's me, before I had my surgery. I am no longer that person. I never want to be that person again. Although lap band will lead to long-term success, the thing that bothers me the most is when someone judges one of our successful patients and declare they took the easy way out. If you take the time to listen to a successful patient, they will let you know it took commitment and dedication. In fact, they will explain that they worked hard, started exercising, ate healthier, followed up regularly with us, and they will also tell you that they couldn't have done it without the lap band and aftercare support. Lastly, you are gonna have fun. You are going to like the people you work with, and as you lose weight and the clothes don't fit, guess what you do with them? You give them away. You don't put them in the back of your closet or box them up in storage. You move forward, and that's very rewarding and very motivating. Well, I hope you see the enthusiasm and passion we have for our program and the lap band. So if you find yourself being sick and tired of being sick and tired, then contact us and start your weight loss journey today. When I first started giving these seminars in 2003, the reported rate of obesity in the United States was 30%. Today, 40% of adult Americans are obese. By the year 2030, they are predicting 50% of adults will be obese. Unfortunately, these numbers are slightly higher in Kentucky and Indiana. The obesity epidemic has helped to fuel related health issues like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and some cancers, which are the leading cause of death in the United States. So what is lap band surgery? The lap band is a restrictive tool that has been around for over 20 years with more than 850,000 placed worldwide. It's a safe outpatient surgery that's performed laparoscopically where a soft silicone band is placed around the upper portion of the stomach to help limit how much one can eat at a given time. The band creates a pouch about the size of a golf ball. There's an adjustable balloon on the inside of the band that causes a delay in the passage of solid food, which in turn causes fullness with small meals. The lap band is the least invasive of all weight loss surgeries and doesn't involve any cutting of the stomach or rerouting of the intestines. It is adjustable, which we will discuss in a moment, and also reversible to your original anatomy if need be. 
the lap band has the lowest operative complication rate, lowest mortality rate, and virtually no malnutrition risk since none of the gastrointestinal tract is bypassed. With these numerous advantages to other more drastic forms of weight loss surgery, patients can expect one to two pounds of weight loss per week for the first one to two years. This is a very sustainable and healthy way to lose weight and keep it off. And when you combine the surgery with regular follow-up, support, and adjustments, results can be far more durable long-term when compared to other weight loss surgeries. We have found that being part of an aftercare program will help you stay on track and be accountable. So we have mentioned these adjustments. What does that mean? From time to time, the band will need to be adjusted. Remember that balloon on the inside of the silicone band that I spoke of earlier? If you can imagine a band separating an hourglass filled with sand, the tighter the band, the slower the sand will funnel through. The more open, the faster the sand will go through. We can control that degree of restriction by simply tightening or loosening the band in the office when patients return for follow-up. After the band is placed around the stomach, the excess tubing coming off the band is attached to a port that's tucked under the abdominal wall and on top of the abdominal muscles. It can be felt if you press down hard on the abdomen. Every time you come in for follow-up, you will be seen by your surgeon. We will look at a graph of your weekly weight loss, and when you start to plateau, or can eat more food than expected, or develop more hunger, it may be time to adjust your band. I will suggest to you that our technique for adjusting the band is the best in the country. Once we access your port with a special needle, we then have you sit up off the edge of the exam table. We then over tighten the band by adding saline into the port which causes the balloon to swell and close off the opening of the pouch. Next the patient starts to take several drinks of water and they will feel the water get stuck and we can tell that by the look on their face. We then gradually loosen the band and instruct the patient to tell us when they feel the water pass through. This allows us to customize and tailor each adjustment just right for each patient. We realized early on that everyone required slightly different amounts which allows us to maintain the sweet spot and enhance our patient's weight loss potential. I point that out because our technique is the best because most programs farm out the patients to a nurse practitioner or PA and they follow a cookie cutter algorithm where everyone is given similar amounts which either leaves the band too tight or too loose. A well-adjusted band patient is able to eat half a chicken breast and a few bites of sides or half a sandwich or one piece of pizza. We are generally shooting for somewhere between 800 to 1200 calories per day. I would like to compare the safety and effectiveness of the lap band to some of the other surgeries out there. Gastric bypass has been done for decades and although it is the one that everyone compares new procedures to, it certainly is the riskiest one. It has the highest complication rate, some of which can be very serious. Do your research and understand the risk from all of the stapling and rerouting of intestines and you will find major risks of leaks from where the connections are made, which can leave a patient in the ICU for weeks. Other risks include pesky stomach ulcers that are hard to treat and severe malnutrition that requires lifelong vitamins to avoid serious problems. Also, the weight loss can sometimes be so drastic that patients look ill. The gastric sleeve has also been around for a while. That's a procedure where about 80% of the stomach is amputated and removed. It shows good weight loss for the first and second years, but after that the tube that was created starts to stretch out and patients are able to eat more and have a tendency to gain their weight back. It was originally designed to be the first in a two-stage operation for patients that were too big for gastric bypass. They would go in and sleeve the stomach, and once the patient used, that used to weigh over 600 pounds lost 200 pounds, they would then go back for the bypass component to help improve the durability of the procedure. Unfortunately, it's not promoted that way with many weight loss surgeons promoting it in a one, as a one-time fix. There are also some serious complications with staple line leaks which again can lead to weeks in the ICU. Another consideration in sleeve patients is that they usually suffer from terrible acid reflux that doesn't respond to typical acid medications. When I talk with a patient who has had a gastric sleeve, they will usually admit they could barely eat for the first eight months after surgery. Most agree it takes them an hour to eat four bites of pudding. That doesn't sound healthy to me. As with any surgery, there can be complications, and there are a few that are specific to the lap band that I'd like to go over. The most common surgical complication is called a slip, where the lower part of the stomach slips upwards above the band and creates a larger pouch that won't empty as well. It's usually brought on by prolonged vomiting for months. 
Sadly, there are some patients who won't notify us that their band may be too tight in fear that if we loosen it, they may gain all of their weight back. This complication happens about 3% of the time in our practice. Treatment involves an outpatient laparoscopic revision of the band to get it back in place. The most serious complication related to the band is called an erosion, which is where the band has eroded from the outside to the inside of the stomach. This is a process that occurs about 1% of the time and unfortunately requires laparoscopic removal of the lap band. The only silver lining with this complication is most of these patients are several years out from surgery, have lost a lot of weight, and essentially return to their original anatomy. Very rarely, patients can have issues with the port that's buried under the skin. Less than 1% of the time, they can flip and will have to be repositioned. So as you can see, the complications that do exist with the lap band are infrequent and easy to take care of. My name is Michelle. I've lost 162 pounds with lap band, and I've kept it off for six years. As a child, I remember growing up overweight, you know, I was chubby, uh, and you always heard, oh, she'd be so cute if she lost a little bit of weight. I'm Nina Brown. I was 360 pounds. I'm now 140 pounds, and I've kept it out for six years with lap band. One of my main goals was to come off my blood pressure and blood sugar medicines. I do not take that medication anymore. And the only thing I take every day is something for allergy. You've got to have your support, and everybody's smiling. They hold you accountable. I knew that I could put my trust in them. It's just so amazing how they can change your life. I've always been overweight my whole life. I was only 280 when I got married, and then I got pregnant, had my son, and then I ballooned up another 60, 70 pounds after that. The moment that I decided that I really needed to deal with it was after my son was born because I knew that if I was overweight at the age of 30, I wouldn't be around to take care of him. And I wanted to be the mom that could play with my child and run and be able to watch him grow up. We have performed thousands of lap band procedures, and that is what we specialize in. What does that mean to you as a potential patient? Well, technically, placing the lap band is the easy part. That takes less than an hour. The hard part is the psychological aspect of weight loss. We are going to work with you on a one-to-one -one basis until you've got it. Once you've got it, you've got it. It becomes your new way of life, your new normal. We want you to lose one to two pounds per week on a consistent basis. If you're not losing weight, we get you back in the office for discussion. As Dr. Lusco has mentioned, sometimes your lap band will need to be adjusted. We as the physician do every single adjustment on every single one of our patients. These adjustments are simple and easy to do. We do the adjustments in the office and it takes about five minutes. We customize and tailor the adjustments to meet your specific needs. Sometimes we may focus on behavior changes or dietary changes, but there is always something we can do to make it work better for you. Most insurance companies will cover the lap band procedure, including Medicare and Medicaid. Our experienced bariatric team can check your benefits and guide you step-by-step -step through the approval process. So who qualifies for lap band surgery? You must be 50 pounds over your ideal body weight. This corresponds to a body mass index, or BMI, of 30 or greater. The BMI is simply a calculation using one's height and weight. You must also be willing to work with our aftercare program to modify behavior so as to change to that new normal. With a well-adjusted band, you can eat normal solid food, like other people, but just not as much. This is the concept of calorie restriction. You simply burn more calories than you're taking in, which in turn leads to weight loss. We want you to eat three meals a day of solid food and follow some simple guidelines on how to use your lap band correctly. You need to avoid drinking with meals so as not to wash out the pouch too quickly. We also ask that you avoid liquids with calories, such as regular colas and sweet tea between meals. Our team of nurses and dietitians will help train you to use your new tool to maximize your success and most importantly, maintain that long-term weight loss. So who benefits from the lap band? The lap band works across the entire spectrum of persons who qualify for bariatric surgery, from the moderately overweight to the extremely obese. I think the perfect candidate for the lap band is the person who has tried multiple different forms of weight loss. 
has had some success, but finds themselves going back to a normal that is not conducive with long-term results. Our program's goal is to use the lap band as a tool to redefine that new normal. That normal is one in which you are satisfied with three meals a day and do not feel the desire or need to snack between meals. Our experienced team of physicians, nurses, and dietitians are always available to assist you and support you to maximize your success with the lap band. Well, what results can you expect? The lap band has been around in the United States for over 25 years because it works. Our practice continues to grow because our patients enjoy promoting their success. And what does success look like? Well, long-term weight loss, improved energy and mobility, improvement or resolution of associated diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, reflux, and joint pain, improved self-esteem, a general feeling of well-being. In our program, we really don't have a goal weight or a goal BMI. We want you to work the program one day at a time so as to develop a true understanding of your new tool so as to maintain a consistent pattern of weight loss. If you do your job and we do ours, it just works. So why choose our program? Well, if you decide that the lap band procedure is for you, then our program is the one. We have almost two decades of experience with the lap band and are a nationally recognized training center, not just for the procedure itself, but also for patient aftercare. Our program specializes in the full spectrum of care for the lap band patient. Every aspect of our aftercare program is specifically designed and dedicated for the lap band to maximize long-term success. We have developed focused and efficient systems that allow our patients to get a rapid approval for surgery and also be able to obtain office visits for subsequent adjustments as needed. The choice is clear. Hi, I'm Amber, Lap Band of Louisville's Program Coordinator, and together my team and I will be with you throughout your entire weight loss journey. Your next step is to complete the patient application. The link for that patient application will follow shortly after this seminar. Once submitted, your application will be reviewed and your insurance will be verified. My team and I will walk you through each step of your insurance criteria and help to set you up with your consultation appointment with Dr. Lesko or Dr. Olsafka. Once you're ready to make a change, once you're ready for that next step, Latvina Louisville is your program. You enter our program as a patient and you'll continue with us as family. The choice is clear.